Okay, let me be brutally honest with you. It's very difficult to get a job in the UK. And this is not because you're Nigerian or you're applying from Nigeria, okay? It's very difficult to get a job in the UK simply because the UK job market is extremely competitive, okay? The UK already has a very established and well-developed workforce and a very highly skilled one at that. So how do you make sure that you stand out in a crowd full of job applications in a very, very competitive market? That is why you need to watch this video from the very start to the end because I'm going to be showing you the exact step-by-step -step process you need to take from the very start of this video right through to the end to make sure that you are able to secure a job much faster in the UK. Hello there, my name is Tess. I'm an accountant based in the UK. I've been here for over two decades and on this channel I regularly publish two videos on a weekly basis regarding relocation tips to the UK. So if you're a student, if you're a working professional or if indeed you're a family looking to relocate to the UK then do make sure this is the channel you need to be subscribed to and you need to subscribe now. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. First thing I'm going to talk about is the things you need to consider before applying for a job in the UK. So although most people come to the UK looking for better wages, better salaries and a better lifestyle, I'm going to be very honest with you, okay? The UK is very, very expensive. I'm sure you're hearing it in the news about the cost of living that's going on here in the UK. It is no joke, okay? The UK is very expensive. I've been in the UK for a while now, so I know that things, the cost of goods and the cost of living generally has really increased recently. So what does that actually mean for you who is thinking of relocating to the UK? It means that I want you to make sure you're considering these key things before you make a decision about whether or not you actually even want to apply for a job in the UK. You need to understand that the UK is unlike a lot of other countries such as Nigeria where, where things like childcare costs are more affordable. Childcare costs in the UK is expensive okay i'm not even going to lie to you it is very expensive living costs are particularly high particularly if you base yourself in somewhere like london okay to factor in your overall living costs so things like mortgage or your rent if you're obviously relocating it's more likely that you'll be relocating and initially be renting when you first arrive in the uk okay the average rental cost in the uk is pretty high especially if it's a family home you know and depending on the location it can range from anywhere from 800 pounds depending on the size of the house right up to 2000 pounds per month a good place to get an idea of how much it will cost to rent in a particular area is to use a site like right move okay i will leave the link to the right move website down in the description box below so make sure you check it out do some research on how much roughly it will cost for you to rent a property in that area of the, of the size that you require on a monthly basis okay so also you need to factor in payments for things like your utility bills your insurance as a minimum groceries so those basic living costs you have to work them out so that when you're applying when you're making any job applications if you still decide that you want to make job applications to the uk to make sure that the amount of salary that that job is going to pay you is going to be worth it okay because the last thing you want to do is to short change yourself moving all the way down and then being in a job that just is not supporting or isn't adequate enough to support your living costs okay so make sure that you do those numbers up first and foremost The second thing I need you to do is to prepare your CV first, okay? Before you even think about starting to apply, you need a good CV. A good CV needs to have, at the very minimum, a very basic profile. It needs to include your name, the address that you're going to be based at, and ideally, if you already have maybe a family residence address here or someone you know, you need to have your UK address. Ideally, it's not always the case. You also need to have obviously your email address that they can contact you on and a good telephone number that you can also be contacted on. You also need to make sure that at least a minimum of three to five years working experience is reflected on your CV so that whoever is looking at your CV can gain a thorough understanding of whether you have the skills and expertise 
necessary and required to actually do the job. Remember I said earlier on that the UK job market is highly competitive. So you want to make sure that when you're writing your CV, you're tailoring your skills and expertise directly to match the requirements of that job description, okay? If you want me to do a separate video of how to craft the perfect CV to land you a job in the UK, then please make sure you write in the comment description below CV job application, okay? Okay, the next thing I want you to do is to update your LinkedIn profile. If you don't already have a LinkedIn profile, please start one today. You don't know the job opportunities that you're missing out on by not having a LinkedIn profile. And your LinkedIn profile is essentially a digital and online version of your CV. It is working for you even when you think it is not working for you, okay? There are so many recruiters and agencies and companies out there that use LinkedIn as a way to directly find candidates that they're looking for for different job opportunities. So if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you are seriously reducing your chances of securing a job in the UK. So I need you to create your LinkedIn profile after you set up your CV, create your LinkedIn profile, make sure that as much as possible, you have included all the relevant information on your LinkedIn profile to maximize the visibility of your profile to any recruiting agencies or companies that are searching for candidates. If you want a video on how to design your LinkedIn profile to maximize your visibility, then make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure you comment down below in the description box with a comment titled LinkedIn profile. The fourth thing I need you to do is to register with recruitment agencies. Okay, recruitment agencies will help massively with helping you boost your chances of actually securing that job faster. Now, why do you want to register with recruitment agencies? You're probably wondering why I'm telling you to register with recruitment agencies. Thing is, in the UK particularly, a lot of employers, in order to save costs on HR and in general, avoid the hassle of actually going out there and finding candidates themselves, a lot of companies in the UK would much rather hire agencies to actually get them these candidates. Now, the thing about using agencies is that the agency knows that they are going to make a commission through recommending the, the successful candidate to the company. So it works in their favor so that they can market you in the best light to that company, therefore increasing your chances of actually securing that job in the UK. So you definitely want to make sure that despite having a CV ready and despite having your LinkedIn profile, you also want to make sure that you have registered with recruitment agencies. Also, any recruitment agency that you're actually registering with will require to see an updated CV so that they have an idea of what type of jobs are best to identify you with and to put you forward for that interview. Some of the list of agencies you want to consider registering with include ADECO, Morgan Hunt, Hayes Recruitment, Brook Street Jobs. These are just a few, okay? There are loads more of recruitment agencies. You can do your research for yourself, but these are just a few. Obviously, there's some recruitment agencies that particularly focus on recruiting within particular specialisms and within particular professions. So you have to do your research and find out which agencies are best suited to, to the kind of jobs or profession that matches your profile. The next thing you want to do is to then go on to job application sites directly, okay? So in this step, I'm going to be telling you what my top application sites for looking for jobs in the UK are. So you want to use sites like LinkedIn, you want to use sites like Indeed, you want to use a site like Monster Jobs and Read. Okay, so make sure you use those sites to actually make your job application to the UK. They will ask you to include your CV. You can research a whole load of different types of jobs to suit your profile and to suit the kind of salary range that you're looking for. I will also make sure that I leave the links to these websites mentioned down in the description box below. Now that you know how to get a job 
in the UK, you need to watch this video to learn the top five in demand jobs currently in the UK. Okay, so that you can make sure that you're increasing your chances of getting that job much faster.